Yo, we're testing out a new camera angle today. I kind of got bored of the old setup, so we're going to try this out for a little bit. If you guys like it, we'll keep it. If you guys don't, probably still going to keep it because <laughs> I spend so much time setting this thing up and I can't be bothered going back to the old one unless over half of you guys hate it. Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to another video. Today we have the Spring Starter Pack. Now this video is for the people who are kind of new to the fragrance game, looking to buy more fragrances or discover more fragrances that have a really small collection or whatnot. This video is for you. I'm going to be going through four different occasions in this video, work, casual, date, and nights out and give you guys two fragrances in each category, one designer and one niche, okay? Now majority of these fragrances are going to lean towards mass appealing, lean towards easy to wear because this is a beginner or a starter pack video for for those of you guys who are still new, okay? All right, jumping into the first occasion, we have work. And for work in the designer department, I recommend you get Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver EDP. Now, this is an amazing work fragrance, especially for the warmer season, the spring, the summer. This just smells really nice, clean, classy type of vetiver scent. When you smell this scent the first time, you're gonna notice, oh, it just smells clean. It smells gentleman, it smells clean. This doubles also as a formal fragrance. You can wear this to work and you can wear it in a suit as well because it's just that classy. Clean, classy, it's sophisticated. It's professional, sophisticated. All the words you can use to describe a perfect work slash formal scent, you can describe Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Now, keep in mind one thing, this thing does not project all too well, which is fine. If you're wearing it to the office, you don't want to project like a beast anyway. But do be mindful, if you're gonna wear this outside, you're not gonna get that many notice from people because it is quite soft. It works best in the office or anywhere indoor where the fragrance is allowed to kind of linger around in the environment a little bit and not just dispersed throughout the air like an outdoor situation would. All right, on to the niche side of the work department. We have one of my favorite. This one is called Queer Blanc by Givenchy. Now, Queer Blanc is a very unique work fragrance. I love this thing to death. Oh, it just smells so good. It's so unique. It's white leather mixed with a slight touch of pink pepper that gives it a little bit of a spicy, a singiness to the top, if you will, to really, really help you grab that attention from the other person. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's just really, really, really gorgeous. One of my favorite purchased niche wise of all time if I were to just burn down my whole collection and keep just a few of them this one would definitely make the list all right next occasion we have the casual occasion now casual occasion fragrances are fragrances that you can typically wear anytime at all on the weekends on the weekdays just any given situation at all you can wear these two fragrances first one we're going to talk about from the designer side we have Blue de Chanel EDP now this is a no-brainer this is really really is a no-brainer it's just really mass appealing it's mass Masculine, it's citrusy, it's fresh. A lot of people on the planet do use this fragrance, so you're not gonna smell the most unique, but you're gonna smell really, really good. This is highly appreciated by so many people. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's one of the best sellers for a reason. And also, if you didn't watch my most commented list, this one made the list as well. In terms of where in the list, you're gonna have to go watch that list yourself, but this is phenomenal. It got me a lot of compliments throughout the times I've been wearing it, and it just smells gorgeous. Every time I smell this off someone as well, I always love it. I always enjoy the smell of Blue Chanel off people it just works it just really 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 works oh man if you haven't tried this one yet you should especially if you're starting off in the fragrance game you want a fragrance you can wear anytime at all in the spring season blue chanel edp and even the edt or the parfum all those three in this lineup are great but edp is my favorite for the springtime next on the casual occasion we have the niche side and the niche side we have silver mountain water by Creed. Now this is a gem in the Creed line. Very underrated. Not a lot of people talk about this one. People usually talk about Aventus, Green Irish Tweed, Melissa Imperial. This one seems to just get dismissed somewhat, but it smells really good. This is one of my first niche fragrance that I own. I think it's like the third or fourth bottle that I own. I've owned this bottle for about three years and I love it. I still really, really love it. I never get bored of a scent like this because it does smell quite unique. Oh, it's spring in a bottle. It's really, really is spring in a bottle. It smells like the cold, cold Swiss Elf. Yes, the Swiss Elf. It has this really nice spring air type of smell. Slightly green, slightly fruity, slightly fresh. It's just a really great mixture of spring type notes into one fragrance and it smells absolutely phenomenal. I love this one. My girlfriend also loves this one. We actually wear this thing together because this is a unisex fragrance. If you buy this and you have a girlfriend, you can wear it, she can wear it. So you guys save money on that front as well if you guys want to wear the same exact scent. Me and my girlfriend love to wear it together at any given time at all. This fragrance works absolutely every time. You can wear it as a signature scent. You can wear it to work. You can wear it on a date. You can wear it to a nightclub, to nights out occasion. Anytime at all, you can pull out Ceramon water and you'll smell fantastic.
Next occasion, we have the Nights Out occasion. Nights Out occasion, guys. When it comes to designer fragrance, Nights Out in the springtime, it's hard to beat this one. It is really, really hard to beat this one in terms of just mass appeal alone. This one is Dior Sauvage, Eau de Parfum. Not the EDT, but the Eau de Parfum. Because this is still spring, and it is a little bit more cooler out in most places. That's why I picked the EDP over the EDT. Now this one, Sauvage, is self-explanatory. It just smells really good, fresh, and Broxen vibe, but the EDP version has a deeper base, a nice deeper base, a little bit smoother and classier than the original Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Toilette is very fresh, sporty, outgoing. This one is also fresh and sporty and outgoing, but also toned down a bit to give it a little bit more of a warmth, a little bit of a deeper base. So I do enjoy this one more from an artistic point of view. This one just smells better than the Eau de Toilette in my personal opinion, especially in the cooler season like fall, winter, and springtime. This thing just works very, very well. Well, and the mass appealing of this fragrance is legendary. It is very, very legendary. One of those fragrances that comes in maybe once every decade that smells this good and people appreciate this much. So that's enough for Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. I do not need to say anymore. Get this one for Nights Out occasion in spring. You'll not regret it. Next, we have the Nights Out Niche fragrance. This one is Cedrat Boise by Mansara. Now, this one is an Aventus interpretation. I would say it's not a direct clone because it doesn't smell directly like Aventus. This one has a thing of its own. It's a little bit more creamy than Aventus, so I do like this one a little bit more than Aventus. Also, the birchiness, the smokiness is toned down as well. This one is just very, very good. It's very mass appealing, so you can feel confident when you're going out to a bar or to a nightclub with your buddies. This smells very mass appealing. A lot of your friends are gonna like it. A lot of the girls, when you're dancing with them, are gonna like it as well, because it just smells very masculine and playful at the same time, which fits the clubbing environment very, very well. The playful vibe is coming from the fruitiness of this fragrance. It gives you a very extrovert type of character which fits well when you're trying to go out to a nightclub and trying to go out to the bar. You want to be extroverted. You're about two drinks in, getting really comfortable with yourself, getting very talkative. This one will fit that vibe very, very well. You can be very confident and walk up to those girls that you're looking at. And yes, I said girls with an S because you weren't looking at just one. Let's be honest here. You're looking at a ton of them. So walk right up to all of them when you have the chance. This fragrance will be the best wingman for you you. All right, last occasion, we have the date occasion. And the date occasion for a designer, I have one that is rather new to my collection. I borrowed this one from Ashton from Jensen, but I will be getting my own bottle immediately, right when I send this thing back to him. This one is Prada Luna Rosa Black. This thing is phenomenal. It really, really is phenomenal. I'm not wearing anything right now, so I'm gonna wear this. It's so good. It's so, so good. It's powdery, it's warm, it's sexy, it's sensual. It's just amazing. Like this fragrance just smells awesome. I really cannot find a word to describe this thing anymore, but it's just amazing. It's sexy, it's cozy as well because it does have that warmth and the sweetness that's coming from some of the gourmandish notes that's in here. It just smells phenomenal. I love this fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance. Did I say enough yet that I love this fragrance? It just smells really good. And for a date occasion, you really can't miss out with this one because again, it is warmth. It's comforting, it's sweet, it's decadent. It really draws the girl in and it's also quite subtle as well. It's subtle, it's romantic. It's just a really nice scent to have for a date occasion. I highly recommend this one, especially in the springtime, the fall time, winter time, any cooler weather season, this one will work perfectly. And especially for those of you guys out there who's looking to build up your collection, this is a newer release. So you will smell very relevant, you smell very modern, you wear this thing on a date. So overall guys, for a date occasion, Prada Lunarosa Black, please check it out. Last fragrance for a dedication on the niche side we have reflection man by Amwash. this is one of my most favorite fragrance ever it just smells it smells really good it smells really good sexy classy my girlfriend loves this out of my whole entire collection my girlfriend thinks this one is number one she thinks it smells very sexy very masculine very different from all the other people who she smelled in the past this thing just smells spectacular it just smells spectacular there's nothing to beat this one for a dedication in my personal opinion when it comes to the niche department when it comes to the mass appeal factor. This just smells really, really sexy. Also slightly bit romantic as well. Not so much like Prada Lunarosa Black because that one has a warmth to it. This one doesn't have a warmth to it. This one has more of a rich professional vibe. Rich, professional, sexy, alluring type of vibe. Not so much romantic, just slightly, but it works very, very well on a date, especially if you're a very confident guy, you make a lot of money, maybe you drive a nice car. This is for you, man. This is definitely the one 
for you. So check this one out if you haven't yet. Great date fragrance in a niche department for the spring. Reflection Man by Amwatch. All right, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, please hit the subscribe button, like, and comment. I really, really appreciate that. And if you guys have any suggestions of your own for any of the newbies out there in the fragrance game, please leave your suggestion for them down in the comment section below. I think a lot of them will really appreciate that. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time in another video. Peace out, guys, and bye. Thank you.